What's up guys, Team Sai here with the Bakugan video. So we have two products here that we managed to nab from our local Target. We have the Bakugan Blister Packs, and we have the Bakugan Starter Set that comes with three Bakugan, a 40 card deck, and six Helixes. So we're gonna start with cracking open this Starter Set. Now, this Starter Set comes with a Heias Halcor, a Pyrus Dragonoid, and a Aurelius Pegatrix. Now let's hope we can get some, uh, this uh, preset deck is actually pretty good and not trash. Oh no. Hi boy. Are you alive? Probably. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, that's, that's how you open. So. Here's my deck. Here's a brochure. Here's the character cards. We have Pyrus Dragonoid, 200 BP, 5 power, Flaming Fist, Green Fist for Helixes. We have the Halcor Ultra, 300 BP, 4 attack, and double DNA. And if it lands on a DNA, it gets another 4. Pretty good. And then we have the Aurelius... Pegatrix with double green fist, 600 BP, 4 power, and if it lands on a green power, plus 300 B. Interesting. That's stacking with whatever effects the helixes have themselves. So green fists are usually two to 300 BP by themselves, so if the Pegatrix lands, that's five to 600 extra. Mm. So then... Oh. Dragonoid has these two, which is plus one damage and plus 150 BP and plus four damage. Pretty good. This guy, what the hell? This guy's the double and DNA looking thing. Plus one critical? Question mark? And plus 300 BP and three damage. Pretty good. And it's, and it's the same one, so literally it just needs to land on its own. You have double the chance. This Ultra is actually pretty good. And then this one, same thing, the same thing. Like, two fists, it comes with two fists. Like, that's actually pretty good. Plus 100 BP, two power. And it's the same one, plus 150 B, plus two power. And it gets 300 B if it lands on there. This is pretty solid. The Pegatrix can also technically land on the green fist that comes to the dragon arm. Yeah, and then it'll get plus one damage go to 900 B and it'll do five damage. So pretty good. Oh boy, time to crack open this ultra. Eh. Wait, this is, uh, that's gonna take too much time to close. So these are, this is my squad. Get ourselves that Dragonoid. What's on him? He's 200 BP, so that is similar, okay. So we have, oh, he's a little defective. His head is a little wobbly, oh boy. All right, so they look pretty cool, pretty cool. They, they, they seem very similar in the sense of they're beasts. But uh, it's pretty good, pretty good. Let's uh, move on to the main thing, which is this. We already have, we start with a Titan Halcor Ultra right in the front. That looks really nice. Five energy to activate. It's an Evo. Five damage, 1300 B and six plus if it lands on a Helix, which it comes with. It's too good, too good, too good. I feel like a lot of Ultras are going to be like that, but still just for the little that I know, this sounds pretty good. I was able to get the little bit off. Come on. No. Almost. 
Aha. So we have that. Then we have Hyper Dragonoid. Ooh, it feels good. Uh, one energy to activate. 400B, six damage. Lands on a Fire Fist. It gets plus 300B and three damage. Now, relating it to its original, it goes up 2B and one damage, but then has the potential of boosting even more if it lands on one of its own thing. Okay. I mean, it's not good as an Ultra, which makes sense, but still. Ooh, SR, Infernal Wings. Three energy, 300B, remove all Baku Core enemy, ba Baku Core's enemy Baku will hold and negate their effects. It's actually pretty good. So when you're into battle phase, if they land on like a plus 300, plus three damage, you just spend three energy, you give your battle Baku Gun plus 300, and you negate their core effect. Pretty good. Then another SR, we have Stand Together. Four energy, flip card, uh, stops non chaos attacks and has a domination effect. If your Bakuan are, ho are holding the most Baku cards, this is free. Ah, so you don't have to pay four. But you have to hold the most Baku cards. Is that a team or the individual? If your Bakugan are holding. So it's the whole team? Yeah, I would think so. So it's all your stood stand Bakugan? together. Yeah, I would. Th oh yeah, okay. So yeah. if your team has the most stood Bakugan holding cores, that's interesting. Hmm, and it's free. That's pretty good. Another super rare, Philomania Dusk, six energy hero card, uh, chaos hero card, domination. If your Bakugan are holding the most Baku cores, this costs three less. Okay, so domination, you need to have more Baku cores. It seems like, and then it does special stuff if that's the case. So this is only costs three. It costs half the price if domination goes but off. But three energy for plus two hundred doesn't sound that strong. It really doesn't, but it could be good depending because chaos is. I don't know how strong regular chaos is because it's an ultra with three hundred, so it's like kind of whatever. So I don't know. Next is hot potato. Oh, interesting. Two energy action. Pyrus action. Remove an enemy Bakugan's Bakugor and negate its effect. You return the Bakugor onto the field face down. Hmm, so it seems like Pyrus does a lot of negating. So Pyrus, just debuff, 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 debuff. So you don't swing with big numbers. You swing with tiny numbers and make them lesser. Interesting. More hot potatoes. We got ourselves the Hyper... Pegatrix Evo, three energy, 1100 B, six attack, and if it lands on one of its um, green fists, it gets plus 500 B. 1600 B card, that's pretty good, holy crap. And then also, if I'm not mistaken, it gets more damage with its fists. So that's like, Dragonoids too. And, well, that's Dragonoids, what's... What Pegatrix is, what was it, plus 150 and two damage? Was that? Well, that's what it was? Oh, they're right here. Plus 150 and 2 damage. Plus 150 and 2 damage. So if you land on one of these with this, you're going to... Uh, 1750? 1750. 8 damage. 8 damage? Pretty good. And it's only 3 energy to cost? Like, it's not even that bad. Oh. Talking about how good it's it is, it's more. Oh, and then you get a regular version of the Titan Halcor Ultra. Which means that the next card's gonna be the Dragon Knight. No. Oh, no. Fuck Drago, I guess. Fierce Boost. Two energy. Pyrus Action. Plus 200B. Fury. If you have no cards in hand, 600B instead. So I guess Fury is uh, something happens if you have no cards in hand or if you have like lesser cards in hand. We'll find out with another Fury later. Consort. Three energy. Chaos Action. Attach a Baku Core from the field to an open Baku Gun. Oh. So if you don't land on the one you want and you get like a, a negative one or something and you know there's a good one out. Oh, so that, wor that works perfect with like literally anything we have. This, what the heck? This is so busted. Going back to this guy. You get this guy. Land on, land on this. Use Consort. Pull another one out. GG's. Or even like, if you land on something else and it's still good, but you don't care for it, pull one of these out. GG is like, what? Pretty good. Yeah. 
Another consort. Drago's Fury. Pyrus action to energy. Plus four attack and then fury. You have no cards in hand. Uh, double the attack. I think that's what that means. So yeah, fury with no cards in hand. So this deck, you just want to brush everything. Interesting. Pyrus seems interesting. Drago's Fury. Whoa. Uh, stoic, stoic shot. Uh, two energy, chaos, action. Draw a card. Domination. If your bar goes blah, 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 domination. Yep, we would know that. So, just draw a card. Interesting. That. Hmm. Or two. No, okay. Oh, wait, oh, I didn't read the whole domination part. For some reason, I thought the, all the dominations were the same. Okay, so no, domination is the first part's the same. The last part is different depending on the card. Okay, good to know. So, chaos is domination. These guys are Fury and... What was the other one? There was another one. We haven't seen... Fury's. Oh, have we only seen Domination and Fury? Mm -hmm. Okay, never mind then. Draw two instead. Pretty good. Another one. Pretty good. Cycling Warmth. Two energy. Pyrus action. Plus two damage. Then return this to the bottom of your deck. Oh, so you don't even discard it? Interesting. I'm not decking out any day. No deck outs. Well, I mean, you can still damage one, but yeah. Well... Yeah, but still. Fierce boost. Uh, we went over this one already. Pretty good. I don't know. All of them just seem really good, but I guess we'll have to actually see when we crack open. Yeah, they all sound good then. But then, but then, then that means the splinters are gonna be even more good. Blinding glam. Three energy. Chaos action. Minus three damage to an enemy Bakugan, or plus three to one of yours. Hmm. Very situational, but that seems like it'd be pretty good. Three energy for three, so it's one energy per damage. Hmm. Pretty okay. And it can be used whether you win or lose that battle phase. Yeah, so even if you know you're gonna lose, make the make yourself like neg less. So good. Lights courage. Two energy chaos action plus four uh, B, four hundred B, and then domination if your Bakugan are holding more the most Baku cores plus eight hundred B instead. Interesting. Two of those. Shine. Three energy, 500 damage. Pretty straightforward. Five damage. <laughs> Pretty straight. Two of them. Okay. Mm, more flips. Block growth, one energy. Stop uh, Aquas or Ventus attacks. Makes sense. Two of those. Who are the rest flip? Uh, whatever. Stop non pirate attack, three energy. Block outsiders. Now oh, look at him just chilling in his hot tub. Fiery hot tub. Interesting. Okay. Blinding Glam. We already saw this one. Molten Helix. Four energy. Pyrus action. Plus two damage. And... Double... And then double damage? I'm gonna say that's what it means. So then, let's say you're at six. You go to eight. And then it goes to 16. Sounds busted, but cool, I guess. Cult Outsiders, same thing like the other one. Three energies, stop non uh, chaos, pretty good. Halt Unknown, stop Darkest or Aquas, one energy. Then we have Magma Boost, four energy plus 700B. Meodoric Lance, five energy, 11 damage, wild. What? To finish right there. That's 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 a finisher if I've ever seen one. And the deck comes with two of them. And then a molten helix. Damn, that's overall I feel like this deck I don't know man. It sounds so good. I'm like scared to see what booster cards actually do. Like what are your thoughts? I mean, I think that some of the cards are a little slow. Like, um that Meteoric Lance probably could only be realistically played in a Ventus deck. But, I mean, definitely it has good real game potential. Alright, so now that we've seen what comes out of the structure deck, we're going to be opening these blister packs to see if we can get anything. There's wrong. actually packs inside of these plastic. So a retail box of these blister packs come with 24. Correct. So we went to our local Target, they actually didn't have these out on the shelves. We had to talk to an employee to see if they had any in stock in the back. 
Turns out they did. A uh, nice employee by the name of Michael decided to grab this box for us. So thank you, Michael from Target. Ah, beautiful. Right, so let's start with the Nihilus pack. Rips the cards. Actually, I think we're gonna just open all of these off camera so that we can open them a lot quicker because this package is actually seem like it. kind of a bit. So we'll yeah. Be right back. All right. So five minutes and twenty-four boost attacks later, we are ready to open these bad boys. All right, first pack, Battle Brawlers. That is the first set. We have a Hydrus, Hydrus, mm -hmm. Aqua Hydrus. Oh. Diamond Ultra. Oh wait. Aqua Hydrus. Mm, that's a really beautiful card. Ooh, almost opened beautifully. Fury Rage, three energy Pyrus action, two hundred B. Fury, if you have no cards in hand, eight attack. Mm. Fire boost, two energy, Pyrus action, 400B. Damn, all just these beautiful, these cards look so beautiful for no reason. Fire vortex, six energy, py Pyrus action, six attack. Fury, if you have no cards in hand, 12 attack instead. Jeez, bro, that's a vortex. Smash. Two energy, Ventus action. Plus three attack. Sonic Howl. Three energy, Ventus action. Plus four attack if Ventus energized this uncharged. Oh, don't know what that means, but I feel like Ventus is cancer. Cycling Iker? 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 Iker. Five energy, Ventus action. Minus eight attack, then return this to the bottom of your deck. Oh, okay. Furious Blast. Oh, wait. Okay, we're entering the first rare of the pack. Furious Blast. Three energy, Pyrus action. Plus six damage. Fury, if you, if, if you have no cards in hand, return this to your hand. Huh. So just Furious Blast? Furious Blast? Furious Blast? Yeah, oh wait, Furious turn. Blast? So then you would have to use two... Oh yeah, but... Hot Potato. Uh, this is the another rare. Uh, two energy, Pyrus action. Remove an enemy's Baku, Bakugan's battle core and negate its effect. You return the Baku core onto the field face down. Ooh. Oh, I did not want to see that back. Oh god. This is an SR. Benton Dusk. Four energy. That's a darkest hero. When you discard a card, a Bakuman gets plus 200 B and two damage. So is that continuous? I would think so. Yeah, sure. If you play it during the draw phase, then it would be continuous, right? Because it wouldn't end until the victory phase? I don't know. This is... And a Bakugan gets plus 200. Yo, just pick the enemy. Just meme it. I'm going to lose anyways. You can get it. And then we get a, a common hex. Sigh. Luminous armor. Four energy. Chaos action. Nine, plus 900B to a Chaos Bakugan. Okay, it's not that bad. So with the back card in every set, it could be any rarity. And then it gets hex, which you get this nice little like hexagon shiny to it. So, the 10th card in every pack, random rarity, but you have a chance of some really shiny looking some stuff. So let me separate these. All right, going on to the next pack. Uh. No, I'll open that way better. Is it a rare first card? Uh, common. Mm -hmm. Pyrus Dominance. Five energy Pyrus Flip. Stop non-Pyrus and destroy an energy card. Oh. 
Your, wait, no. your energy card? Or... No well, way. destroy N. Yeah, destroy Okay. Opponents. Five. Stop your attack. And play, by the way, less energy. Imagine the counterplay of them wanting to play an ability card to counter that card, but they can't because you destroyed the last The energy one energy that they needed? needed for, like, activation. GG's, bro. Oh. Oh, they, a... they hit a flip, but the flip is too expensive That's now. actually... That's our first flip card. Hmm. Pretty, pretty decent flip card. Anyways. Thought Decay. Four energy, darkest action. Choose a player to discard two cards. Oh. So, if you use that with the other card, that counts as two activation. So it's plus 200 and plus two damage. Or 404 damage. This one. I would think so. I mean, that's a whole eight energy, so it's a lot, but... Mm. Interesting. Pretty decent card. Another flip card. One energy spark. Pyrus flip. Draw a card, then discard a card. That's oh, good. Cycle thinning. Good. Photosynthesis. Two energy. Ventus flip. Energize this uncharged. Huh? So I think I know what that means. So I think if you use an energy, then it's considered uncharged. Mm. But then you can energize it to have it restood for, I'm assuming Ventus has other effects that say when you have this many cards energized, mm -hmm. but then they're still not charged, so they're not usable, but they're energized. That's what I'm assuming. So, hmm, interesting. Unrivaled jump, five energy, darkest action, nine hundred B. Plain and simple, good art. Interesting. Another flip. Damn, this pack has all the flips. Repel darkest, zero energy. Oh, still darkest. That simple. That poor trucks. It literally doesn't. It literally repel darkest. Just activate. Ah, uh, activate. Ah. Uh, GG's. Then we move on to the rare, which is Hyper Hydrus Ultra, two energy Evo card. Pyrus. Pyrus, by the way. 600B, six damage, no effects, but hmm, pretty decent, two energy for a pretty, uh, pretty bulky guy. You gotta remember that from what we can tell, Pyrus is good at debuffing. So the fact that it's 600 doesn't really make much of a difference. The 6 damage is what you're looking at. Because it's like a slow but sure beat stick. 10 out of 10. For 2 energy? Not that bad. Next rare. Ooh, this is a diamond evo. We got Aquas Diamond Serpentis. 6 energy. 1000 B, 5 damage. If it lands on a shield helix, 5 damage. And if it lands on a green fist plus 500 bed just land on both because it's that easy well let's see if you pair it with what Arellis or Chaos then you can just give it both Chaos yes you're totally right with, with the card from earlier oh yeah it lands on one of them and then just give it the other pretty good and you get the effects of both too we get ourselves a SR we get ourselves a Chaos Titan Pegatrix. Four energy, 1000 B, four damage, and if it lands on a green fist, 500 B, and five damage. Pretty good. Imagine if this was a Titan Evo for the one from that one. Insta put in death. Insta. Mm. And then our Helix is a common side. Crushing Grasp, 6 energy, minus 1,000 B. Oh. Yo, bro, what? Ventus does not like Darkest. What? What the heck? Oh. Alright, we're going to go for that young Battle Elite. We gotta get that young Battle Elite card going our way. Alright, can I open all of it? And yeah. Terrify. 
Four energy, darkest action, minus six damage. Okay. Thoughts Decay, we already went over this card. Unravel Jump. All right, so a lot of these are getting reshuffles. These things are going to go a lot faster. Ventus Power, four energy. Ventus Flip, stop non-Ventus and draw a card. Pretty simple, pretty good. Four energy, eh, but you energize with Ventus, so. Prismatic Bolt, four energy, darkest action, plus 300B, plus six attack. Oh. Oh. Okay, yeah. So I feel like Darkest is the opposite of Pyrus. It's just, just beat stick, beat stick, beat stick. Cause like, that's pretty, okay. It's pretty good. No, don't look at my other cards. Prismatic Shield, one energy, uh, Darkest Action, plus 200B. And that was a common, okay. And now we get the, the rare of the pack, or the first rare of the pack is A. Six energy, Ventus Hero, Turbo. If you have the most energy cards in play, your attack, your attacks have plus four damage. Oh. So this is a really good team attack card. So you hold this for a team attack. When it says energize this card uncharged, mm -hmm. it means to place it as an energy, but it's not. It's like used. Energize this card. Oh, so that card. Oh, so okay. You, you energize it this energy, card on. So, it, but it's uncharged, so you can't use it for the. But turn. you. That's how you get all the energy with. Oh, everything's making more sense. So that's what it is. With the heroes, you have A. There's B, C, D, and I think it goes all the way to E. So let's see if we can get the whole alphabet today. Another rare, wing, cutter. Six energy, chaos action, 600B, domination. If your Bakugan hold the most Baku cores, return this to your hand. Pretty simple. SR, Maggie, hero, five energy, uh, Aqua's hero. Your Aqua's Bakugan has plus two crit, four to leaf thingy, okay. Um, Still don't know what that symbol means. I want to say crit, but I don't. I don't know, because damage is crit. But it's just the vanguard coming out. The vanguard of me coming it's, out. It's the same and symbol. cycling light, common hex. God damn it! But that looks so pretty. That actually looks really good. Oh my Thanks god. God damn. <sighs> One energy. Hey, Hus action plus two hundred B. Then put this at the bottom of your deck. Man, can we please get a good hex? Like, for all that is, like, holy. Oh. Yeah. Meteoric Lance, 5 energy, 11 power, Pyrus action. Pretty good. Molten Helix. Uh, four energy, Pyrus action, plus two damage, and double attack from what we've re uh, understood so far. We're going to start going through these a little more faster since we have a million more to go through. Light break, 300B, the chaos, and okay. Good. Great water boost, 100. Pretty simple. Eh. Light's courage, we already watched that, read that, same difference. Hydro Blast for for power and for mystery. More hot potatoes. Hyper, Hyper Pegatrix. Ooh. That's really good for the deck because there's only one in the starter deck. So that's really good. 500B if you land on the, its fist. No, there's none. No, there's one. Oh, the evil? Yeah, the evil, there's one. Mm -hmm. uh, Strata. Super rare. Two energy, Aquas hero. All players draw an additional card each turn. So heroes are perma, I guess. Yeah, they must be. You place them in their perma, and then you can use them. You can use their energy. Uh, no. So they're kind of like <gasps> artifacts in Keyforge. Basically, we got a rare hex. Oh my god, it's better than common. <laughs> pretty good. I don't know. That cycling light looks pretty nice. Hurricane Slash. Three energy, Aqua's action, 200B. Flow, 
if you played another card this turn, return this to your hand. So we, we found the new ability known as Flow. Interesting. So we have Fury, Flow, Domination. I think that's all. Yeah. Did we get one for Ventus yet? No. No? Oh, uh, wait. Yeah, Turbo. Turbo. There we go. Interesting. Simple names. And you, you would think it means something really complicated, but it's pretty simple. Okay, I, I messed this one up. You would think I got the thing down packed, but okay. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, just run the cards. Just run the cards. Just run the cards. Just run the cards. Cool, okay. <clears throat> Pyro Strike. Three damage. If, hey, uh, if, uh, whoa. Pyrus. Six damage instead. Pretty good. It's like the card earlier, like the Heia's card. Fury Boost. Uh, we already saw this card, I'm pretty sure. Oh, this is the common hex that I have. Yay. <laughs> Cry. Sifting Ashes. Ooh, I actually like this art for no reason. What the heck? Draw two cards and discard two cards? It's like the it's like the other card, but yep. way more of a thinner. Huh. Probably good use with um Darkus. Yeah. Song of Fire plus five. Oh, folks, we found another... Oh, never mind. At least we found another uh, symbol we don't know, but... Plus five energy? Plus five energy. Wait. So it's just gain two oh, energy? Oh, you, you gain... But you cost. need three to use it. So you're basically plusing... T yeah, you're gaining two. It's a plus two with the requirements of having three. Yeah. So you can't just get the five early game. It has to be... Yeah, but I'm pretty sure that's only for that turn anyways. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so... Hmm. Talon Slash. Oh, here. Cute. For attack, if the Bakuman's attack becomes 10 or greater, draw a card. Oh. Very good. Huh. And it's a plus 4, so we just have to have base 6. That's not including hey, other Hey, you ran into this again. Hyper Hydra's Ultra. Pretty simple. Nothing special. It's the rare. First rare. Next rare, we get another A. Turbo. Man, give me some more alphabets. Kirin. Darkest Hero, 2 energy. When you play a flip card you may draw a card it's weird. oh super rare and then we get oh <sighs> we got ourselves a battle elite hex oh my god look how beautiful that card looks oh my god i'm gonna butcher this name leah venegas Venegas. Venegas. 10 Venegas. energy to use? What does it say? Chaos Hero, when you play this, when you play it, search your deck for a hero card and reveal it, then put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. Plus 10 damage to your attacks if you control 5 or more heroes. If you. Hero cards? In, uh, oh, if you, if you uh, control 5 or more hero cards in play. Bro, what? This card is good, but it's so balanced because of this. Who wants to play Ventus? Yeah, it's such a good Ventus deck. Yo, bro, I need myself a Ventus Bakugan. Bro. Ventus Darkest Chaos, that's what that card's for. Ten of... Oh. Oof. Oh. I'm crying. Why did it come like that? It's from when I opened the pack, I'm sad. Ask Spin Master for a refund. Oh, thanks. Give me 50 bucks or whatever this is worth. Bro, we got ourselves... A battle elite, not just a battle elite, but a battle elite hex. Look how pretty! Oh my god! Oh, so good, so good. All right, all right. We gotta, we gotta get through some packs. We can't be stopping now. More, more battle elites, and we got this. High rarity hexes. That's all we want. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, we're not doing that again. We're not doing that again. We're not breaking the corner of the box of the pack. Luminous armor. Ooh, I want this guy to come out. He looks so cute. Pandox. It's a freaking panda bear. I want it. And it does four damage and draw a card, but still. Yeah. Shine. Simple. Five damage. Pretty good. Stonic Shock. We've been over this one. Draw a card. Yada yada. Molten Helix. Greater Water Boost. Ooh, Hero. Oh, this is mom. the first rare. We got Veronica v Vinigas. Venegas. Venegas, whatever. Chaos Hero, Domination. If your Bakugan are holding the most, well, plus three to your attacks. Hmm, we got the mama. I guess the dad has the blue hair. Interesting. 
That's the rare. Ooh, we got another letter. We got D. Four energy. Chaos Hero. Your Bakuman has plus one mystery symbol. Cool. That, that symbol's gonna mean something good. But, oh. Oh. Well, no, this is not the Helix, he but this is a Battle Elite. Oof. So, the the, uh, the seventh and eighth card are always rare. The ninth card is super rare or above, and the last one is any rarity hex. Should have gone over that. Battle early. Elite hex in the same pack. Dan Kuzo. Dan Kuzo behind Dan Kuzo. Oh. Four energy hero, Pyrus hero, of course. When you open a Bakugan, you reveal oh the top gosh. card of your deck. If it's not a flip card, you may play it for free. Wait, do I see Dan calling out Liz? Leah? Liz? Leah? What? Leah? And then Leah calls out another the, hero? The other, the, the kid with the afro? Pretty good. Oh. Trucks? A rare hex. Ooh, look out. Trox is Moxie. Yo, Trox is Moxie. Look how, look how cute he looks there. Yo, five energy. Hey, um, whoa. Fence is flipped. Energize this and the top card of your deck uncharged. Ooh, Ooh two energy, but it's five to activate. But you... Oof. <laughs> I don't know. Seems pretty okay. But you can activate it at three with the other card. You're right, but ugh, all these combos, but it's like you actually have to get it off. Oh, just look at it. Look at an angle. Oh, look at all those colors. But then, oh, we have so many more packs. All right, we're gonna start speeding through this. We only care about the last four cards, anyways. The rares and high uh, Luminous armor. Panda punch. Pandox punch. Panda punch. Panda punch. Shine. Shine. Stonic shot. Greater water boost. Hydro blast. Ooh, this is a new one. Heroic Inspiration. Two energy, draw a card for each hero you have in play. Pretty good. With my other card. It, well, Leah is a chaos also, so it makes sense. Oh, another one. Oh, this is the rare? Is this? No, that was a common. Oh, this was the rare. Oops, see, two rare, two rare flips. Interesting. Light as a feather. Three energy. Put this into your hand and draw a card. Oh. Play. Come back. Oh. All the flips. Yo, Helix flip? B? Battle Lee? Brain Geyser. Four energy. Aqua's flip. Draw all remaining damage from this attack. What? Oh, what? Wait. Whoa. What? Deal 20 attack. Gets as the first card. 19 to hand. Yeah, 19 to hand. Instead of flipping. Oh my god. It's four energy only two. It's pretty good for four energy. I mean, I guess the catch is that you're still technically taking the damage, but you're using it. But it's more useful than not because if yeah. it goes into this card, then it's gone forever. But can you hmm. instead of flipping it? So that means that all flip cards that you activate after the fact are basically useless. Yeah. Well, no, you won't even get any other flip cards. This one, no, yeah, you would, because you would just draw the remaining damage into your hand. So they wouldn't be flipped, so you can't activate them, but you're still drawing them, Yeah. and you can't activate them from hand. But you, then flip cards that are in hand, they're useless, a.k.a. you put them down as energy. So it's free energy at that point. Energy but, fodder. Uh, yeah, I guess. I guess it doesn't really matter because you don't have a hand count, but... Oh, that, bro, it actually hyped me up for a second because of how dark it looked. Oh my, it's just a common... Darkest Strike, 3 energy. Ooh, is that? Ooh, ooh, yo, hexes are not fucking. Bro, common hexes? Yo, I love them. I, I'm sorry, to be talking crap. Darkest Action, plus 6 attack. If Darkest, choose a player to discard a card. I love how it says choose a player. Like, like, cause like, it's like, it makes it seem like there's an option to choose yourself, but like, would you want to choose yourself? Or can you play, like, well, a triple threat? Well, we have the, like that. the. The SR on the bottom. That gives you buffs for discarding your own cards. So there are times where you can... Let's say you use this guy, mm -hmm. right? And you have a million cards in hand. Mm -hmm. Then what are you actually negging from gaining the damage? And then gaining more damage? I guess you're right. Hmm. 
Yo, darkest? Yo. Sleeping? I used to be a darkest main back in the day. Might as well pick it up again. I thought I was gonna leave it behind. I thought I was gonna be a reboot. New, new, uh, new faction for me, but I might go back to my old. Did I open it upside down? What? Manufacture glitch? What? 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 Oh, okay. Huh? Okay. Piercing scream. Minus 400. Razor claw. Okay. Just making sure it wasn't like an actual manufacture glitch. Razor claws. Plus two turbo if you have the most energy. Seven. Pretty good. Yo. Ventus, I think, is actually going to be like meta. Like the high meta, bro. Shock and awe. Plus four, another, and then another rocking gets minus three. Uh, fire boost. Fire vortex. Mm. You gained a whole extra six. Repel darkness. Portraits. And then we're going back to the upside up version. I love how when it went to the back card, it was correct. That's weird. Oh, wait. This is Aqua's Diamond Hydras. But it's not the Ultra. I know, but it's pretty good. Huh. Five energy? Oh. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Huh. Ten damage, a thousand B, five energy to act. Huh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Speaking of, I, th I think I found it. Huh. Okay, well, I know I'm sticking to my decks right away because I have one of these. <laughs> so I have two of them now. <laughs> GG. Nine energy, though. Yo, I need to get myself a Ventus Bakugan. I've been talking about it. I have these Ventus cards. I need a Bakugan for it now. Pretty good. What you really need is a BE of the, the African. Oh, my God. Oh, you bet I won't pull it right now? <laughs> huh. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm not, I'm not even there yet. Awkward. Mm -hmm. But it's an SR. Pretty good. The Skies. Hi. Hi. Him. Him. One, oh, one energy, huh? Chaos action. Look at the top three cards of your deck and put them on top of your deck in any order. Domination of your Baku. Hello, OTT, the is that you? Most Baku cards draw a card. Huh. Ha! Huh. SR Hex. Cinder Coil. Destroy all enemy heroes. That's really good. Five energy to do it? Hmm, Pyrus action. Yo, the promo is so nice. Fangzor's just gonna crush Dan and, and Leah. Oh, RP Dan and Leah. Alright. Bro, stop showing me new cards. New common cards. Like, let me just get through to the back already. That's what everyone wants to see. That's what I want to see. Give me some BEs. Give me some Battle Elites. Fence's power. We've been through this. A new, another new card, a match. Fragile to light, minus five power, uh, attack to non hang out. Okay. Why is Trox always getting bullied? He, he's always bullied, bro. Every version of him. Heroic strength, we went through this one. Oh, light break, lava flow, uh, zero, zero energy, plus one. Plus okay, one energy. pretty good. You want a turbo real quick? Just, you know, activate your lava flow. Light's Courage, we've been through it. Hyper, bro, what's with all the freaking Hydras? Hydras Everyone, is... Hydras is loved. I opened a Hydras pack to be fair, but still. Isn't that the Evo of the card from the starter deck? Uh, no, that's a... No, that's, that's Halcor. Halcor, yeah. yeah. That'd be putt busted, though. Oh. Oh, hi. Not the one I need. I already got, but I already got it in this one. I don't need to be that crazy. Oh, no, but I, three's a playset. I want a third one, yeah, actually. That's second rare? A, I got myself B. A, I got so myself B. A, B, and D. Mm. Mm. I still need C and E. One energy, Aqua's Hero. When you select a Bakuan to roll, you may turn a Baku core on the field face up. That's oh. permanent, so you can essentially turn them all face up? E, yeah. Until, well, yeah. Hmm. Oh. Com Bro, the moment I said I like common hexes, they're like, yeah, okay, we'll give them to you then. But I mean, to be fair, Cinder Coil is an SR hex, but still. Ice Barrier. At least they know how to make cards look good with hex. Hmm. 
200G plus 400D. Shadow Hue, 100 B, 3 damage. Block Outsiders, A's, chillin'. Block Four Trucks! Bro, everyone, yo. <laughs> oh my god, every version of Trucks is this trash. Smoke Armor. Cycling Thoughts, draw two cards, then return this card to the bottom of your deck. Hmm. So this card wants you to get cards. Ventus wants you to get energy. Pyrus wants to debuff them. Darkest uh, Mills and Beat Sticks. Chaos is Baku Core Control. Baku Core Control. And then we haven't really seen. Aurelis? Not really. We haven't really seen Aurelis. We've seen the one evolution. Oh. <laughs> We've seen wow. the one evolution, but like. That was pretty impressive. Yeah. Uh, but, hmm. Oh, hi. Hyper Dragonoid, yo, my starter deck be looking kind of good right now. Pretty good. Hyper Trox, yeah, finally some love for Trox. Yeah, stand up Trox. Vic on Victor, plus two energy, yeah, you got that Trox, you got, oh hey, they love, you know, young love for Trox, Titan Trox. Hey, what's up? Yeah, you, you always the win. top two cards, we get. yeah, that's the, oh, this is awesome rare, whoa, I looked over that. Hey, I think that's our first awesome rare. Yeah, I don't know what that is, yeah. It's uh, above super rare, below battle league. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> so anti -comatic. That doesn't even look like a common. <sighs> is that a good thing? I <laughs> Stone skin. Sacrifice? Oh, we found a new one. Freaking... You may discard a card. Okay, yeah, this this deck is just no. Oh, bro. Where's our freaking Aurelius, bro? No one loves Aurelius. Repel. Ah, Smoke armor, 500 beat power. Block Aquas. Oh, finally, he's not a Trox. Stop. It's literally blocked. Aquas, Cycling Thoughts, Block Growth, eh. Block Outsiders, Hot Potato, which is the rare. Bro, I got a place at a hot potato now, it's fine. Yeah, probably. Yo, that young place set though? Yo, I'm about to pop them in the deck. Pretty good. And then we get ourselves a super rare. Hyper Drive. Yo, I want this card. I want him part of my main team. Um, Minotaurus, I'm pretty sure. I want this one. Ventus Minotaurus. Three energy. Ventus flip. Both players may energize the top two cards of their deck. Hmm. Did I say two or three? Uh, hmm. Rare. Hey. Hey. Look at Trunks. Heroic Inspiration. He's like, we got this. He's had enough of all the bullying. They're being tossed around. The repelling, look he's done. That. Look at that. Stand up for what he's worth. Alrighty. Almost, almost. Darkest Strike. Defense's Power. Lava Flow. Yo, Lava Flow is pretty... That's pretty good for no reason. But it's, it is like an ant card. Like. Chaotic Darkness, a new one again. She's a player to discard a card. Oh, so I wonder if there are triple threats. Because I understand you want to discard your own card, but there's other cards that, that are not dark as I say choose a player. So, I don't know. Right. Triple threat, Bakugan, pretty good. Cease Chaos, oh. Yeah, finally, it's not a freaking Trox. Ooh. Yeah, yo. My boy Trox. Energize this uncharged. Pretty good. That was a common. Right, first rare. 
Garganoid's gaze. Yeah, it's the first Garganoid you've seen in the car. Right? Yeah, pretty okay, I guess. Yeah. Destroy a hero with cost four energy or less. Oh, well, you can't destroy my Leo. Corrupting Mist, 100 B for each one damage a Vakuan has. Oh. Oh. Huh. Ooh. Is that a B? <gasps> I got another B. I got a B. It's Magnus. Wait, it's the main evil guy. <gasps> Bro. We, okay, end the video. We, we got the main characters. Oh my god. Eight energy. Darkest hero. When you play this, a Bakuan gets five thousand. Okay. Victor, you may discard a card to give a Bakuan plus damage equal to this card's energy's cost? Oh my god. This card's Leah? Yeah. 5k plus 10. Um, plays the one um, um, Meteor Strike or whatever card. Uh, plus 2 damage on top of that. Doubles it. 24 damage. Oh yeah. Pretty good. Oh wait, oh whoa. There's something cool. Destroy a hero. Destroy hey, all heroes. I got the same oh, I got the same hex, man. I want different hexes. Still good, SR. Not that not any not a not a rare or a, what's it called? Can't complain. Can't com cannot complain. But yo. I have the main protagonist and the main antagonist. Pretty good. Alright, tag me on time, DJ. <laughs> Alright, so we actually have a new card here. It's a Chaos card for two energy. Get two of this unknown symbol that we have. Another new card, Whiteout, zero energy. Uh, Chaos, give three damage to a Chaos Bakugan. Another new card, two energy, Darkest, um, give five damage. How do you get all the new cards? We've already seen Cycling Warmth, plus two damage and return to the bottom of the deck. Another new card, Aquas, plus seven damage. I think this one's new too. Uh, one energy, Aquas, uh, plus 200B. And if you played another card this turn, get plus 400. Uh, rare hero, China Riot, for four energy. You give one damage to all your attacks. Uh, I'm assuming that means that if you're also doing a, a team attack, you get one per. Um, and if this card is discarded, you can play it for free. Another hero, a one energy Aquas hero. Uh, if you've played two or more cards this turn, your next attack this turn has plus two damage. So, if you discard this card, then the card you use to discard is the first turn you do. And then since you get to play for free, then that counts as the two cards to activate him right off the bat. So then he would give two damage to whatever attack. And then since she gets played for free on that same turn, she would increase it to three extra damage for one energy plus whatever you use to discard that card. Hmm. Ooh. We have an amazing rare Hyper Serpentis Ultra for two energy. It's an Evo card. Fury, if you have no cards in hand, get plus five damage and plus 1,000 B. And it has 507 damage right off the rip. It's pretty good. Got a rare Diamond Garganoid Ultra for five energy. It's 700 B and nine damage. And that's the Helix? And the Hex? That is the Hex card. Ooh. It's a, it's a diamond. And if it lands on a shield helix, then it gets 800 battle power. Yo, forget landing on anything. Just freaking, uh, uh... Just buff a tall hook. Nah, not even that. Just, like, that one card, uh... Choose a core to give something. Oh, yeah. Forget actually trying to land on something. Just land on something. Just land on the fire fist. You land on something, and then, like, your cards will just do the rest. You remember when we were opening that, that starter deck and we were like, oh my god, these cards are good. What could possibly be better? These. <laughs> and that's the scary part. <laughs> that's the very scary part. All right, so block Ventus, zero energy, very simple. Greater water boost, we've already seen that card. Halt Chaos. I don't think so. Zero energy, stops Chaos. The basic stop card like everything else. Hydro Blast, we've already seen. Plus four damage and plus four Ooh. weird symbol. Uh, but it, yeah, Counter Outsiders, card. so stop non Aquas for three energy. Beaming Blaster, I think this one's new. It's a six energy Chaos card, plus six damage. Domination, if you're Baku gone, hold the most Baku cores, plus 12 instead. So it's the same thing as um, what was the, other the Flame Cyclone or something like that. Yeah. Hmm. 
We have a uh, Darkest Hyper Hydras, 3 energy. The first rare. Uh, it's 400 B, 9 damage. And when it lands on a green fist, it gets 6 B. 600. We got a Diamond Gorthian Ultra, rare, Evo. 6 energy. It has base 1300 B and 6 damage. Oh, pretty busy. We Ooh, have. What the freak am I looking at? Uh, Battle Leap. Maximus Hydrus Ultra. It's 7 energy, base 1000 B, and 8 damage. And whenever it wins a battle, you shuffle 3 cards from your discard into your deck. So you're basically, essentially, healing. Oh my god. No, Yeah, it's a battle lead. No wonder you're freaking busted. And then, we have a rare Helix, a wing cutter. I believe we've already seen this card. Six we energy. have it in a better variety now. <laughs> Rarity yeah. spot. Yo, Max, ready? You already spot. Uh, six energy, six hundred battle power, and if you have the most pocket cord, uh, return it to Hint. All right, so we got that's our fourth battle elite. Ah, uh, yes. One of them being a hex. All right. Yo, battle elite hex. That was so good. That was our Leo, right? Yep. Oh my God, such a. And good then card. we got our mom the next pack. Yes. That's such a good card. We had a water boost we've already seen, Hydro Blast we've already seen. I, those two always seem to come in pairs. Ice Barrier I believe we've seen. Punished I think is new. Uh, Darkest 2 Energy, um, flip card, choose a player to discard a card. Hmm. Halt Aquas, simple, zero energy, stop Aquas damage. Isolation I think is a new card. 3 energy Aquas card, 8 damage if you only have one open Bakugan. Does that include the one that's battling? 8 damage if you only have one open I would assume it includes the one that's battling, which means that you can only oh, use... Yes, mm. Hmm. It would have to, right? Because it's open. If you only have one open Bakugan. No, I mean, depending, because can you play cards before rolling? Is that a thing? Yeah, it's... you can play ability cards anytime. You sure? Except victory phase. Okay, yeah. then, um, then yeah, you, then you could play it beforehand and give it an insta plus eight boost. Yeah. Okay. So you're saying so. you have a victor and they're open. You, you choose one another one. one. Yes. You mm -hmm. activate this card. Give, but that's a gamble because then that's assuming that you're gonna win. You would want to do it during yeah. the battle phase when you've already ensured your first then roll. Be your first, then it'll be your first victor. Yeah. You're doing your first victor. Or if you, hey, if you have the God Flick, and you know, <laughs> and you you know yeah, you yeah. have that one card that flips cores, and you're like that one, I want that one, and you're like Bakugan bro, and you throw it out, and it opens, perfect. See. <laughs> All right, a Hyper Pegatrix, uh, four energy Aquas Evo, nine hundred base and three damage. If it lands on a shield, it gets plus four hundred and eight damage. Huh. Ah. Uh... Choose a helix and give it to your Bakula? <laughs> yeah, that's what it sounds like to me. We have Diamond Trox. There you go, Trox. Moving up in the world. Ventus, 3 energy, base 700 B, and 3 damage. Whenever it wins, you can energize the top card uncharged. We have an SR, Inferno Wings. It's a Pyrus card. 3 energy, plus 300 B, and remove all Baku Core enemy Bakugan hold and negate their effects. So this is the same SR that we got from the starter deck. And then another Diamond Garganoid Ultra. What the f Hex card. I think that's our repeated Hex card. Yeah, for sure. I was gonna say, I think that's our first repeated Hex. Yeah. No, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's the first repeated Hex. Hmm. Well, so we've already seen Oh it. no, that means we're getting to the point where we're just scraping the bottom of the thing. No, it's okay, we have so many more bees to go through. Oh, oh, oops. All right. Bone Defense, I think, is a new card. 3 energy Chaos, plus 700B. Yeah, I think it is plus 700B. Counter, Pyrus, 0 energy, stop Pyrus. Interesting. Exhilarate, 1 energy, draw a card. Cycling Light, we have a Hex of this card. It looks a lot better in Hex. Obviously. Cease Outsiders to so stop non Darkest for 3 energy. Look at that Darkest. Oh. Hey, we have him in Hex. Stone skin, we have this as a Hex card. He looks way better in Hex. The background is all sure. dark. For sure. Mist of Night, I, Might of Night, um, I think it's a new card. Two energy, 
Um, plus one. I don't know what that symbol is. It's an S with a. Oh. I want to say it's a, a sacrifice, but I don't plus know. plus sacrifice. I don't know. I don't. Sacrifice. You mean discard a card? Is it like what? You can give a card the sacrifice ability without actually having to sacrifice. Could it? Wait. Oh, could that mean then the one like the one the that one? It gives leaf, it like the one flower one that we keep seeing on the water one is for flow. It could be. Hmm. Well, we'll have to look into it. So sacrifice. You may discard a card for plus five power. This Might of Sindus. This is a new card for sure. Two energy. Uh, Pyrus action, plus one damage, and um, this turn the victor is decided by highest damage instead of battle power. So yeah, Darkest can do what they want, but if you can just slam on double damage, then you oh don't have to worry about a thing. Oh we have an SR Everett Ray. It's an Aquas card for six energy. It's a hero. This card costs two energy less to play for each card you've played this turn. So play three cards, play this card for free. Your buck are gonna have plus 200 B permanently. Oh my god. All right. And then we have oh my another god. More rare heroic. Oh no. Trox, Trox, is, Trox is back. <laughs> We're screaming the bottom of the barrel. Trox is like, you haven't had enough. I'm back. All right, so I'm gonna put the SR on top because I think it looks nicer. I'll tend to them. And then we're gonna get into our second set of Drago packs. Ah. Uh, Eight packs left, kind of this one. Smoke Armor, we've already seen. Halt Outsiders, we've already seen. Poor Trucks, RP Trucks. Halt Unknown, I'm not sure if we've seen this. It's one energy, stop Darkus or Aquas. We might have. Hmm. Chaos Ascendancy, five energy, stop non Chaos, then put it back in your hand. Oh. So it, that's good energy fodder. Yeah. Cycling Thoughts, we've seen before. Ebb, we have not seen. What Bakugan oh. is that? No, that's a person. That's... Oh, you sure? I think that's supposed to be E. The E guy. You sure? That no, it's an action. No, it's not yeah, a hero. Yeah, it's, it's not a hero. hero. It's definitely a Bakugan. It's probably one of is it one, It's probably like Panda. Is it Sindus? It's probably like Pandox. It's probably unreleased. Alright, so two energy plus two damage. Flow, if you've played another card this turn, it's five damage instead. Pretty Yo. good. We have an Her Arellus next, Titan no. Fangzor. For four energy, it's a base 1300 EVO with four damage. And if it lands on the shield... Plus eight damage, bro. Ever since I saw that card, or since we saw that card earlier, like forget trying to land on these things. Yeah. Just like just give it to it. Just give it to it. <laughs> just give it to it. We only got one of those though. Yeah, more starter decks. It's fine. <laughs> so more potatoes. Hot potatoes. We have an amazing rare, Hyper Garganoid Ooh. Ultra. It's three energy, seven hundred base B power, and five damage. And if you played three or more heroes, if you have three or more heroes in play, plus five hundred B. And plus 15. You'll feel that text. Or plus 5. Run it with your fingers. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I know. Ooh. And Ooh. then we got a rare... What? Oh, hex? Just... Man. That's the vibe. <laughs> they look so strings. good. It looked so good from this angle. It looked like an awesome <laughs> rare. <laughs> Whirlpool. It's a uh, 3 energy. Aquas action. Plus 3 damage. And flow if you played another card this turn. Plus 3. There's no way. That can't be flow. Oh yeah, there's no way that's plus 3 flow. Then what... What? It's so like plus three plays. Like, does it say? Does it count for cards played or something? I don't know. Well, I'm gonna move these two over here. Oh, you can't put that amazing rare on top. Hmm. Oh, that would be good. That was sexy. All right. So counter Aquas. Pretty simple. Zero energy. Stop Aquas. Cycling Madness we have not seen. That's Ooh, a good card. that's a pretty look good looking card. It's the same thing as Cycling Thoughts, except the exact opposite. So it's three energy darkest. You draw a card and your opponent discards a card, returns to the bottom of the deck. That's very interesting. Dark Boost we've already seen. Tidal Wave we've already seen. Tides we've already okay, seen. We literally had those three in the exact same order. Huh. Piercing Scream we've already seen. Corrupting Mist we've already seen. Manufacturing? Question mark? Flooding Waters. These are rare. I feel like the last cards are the, always going to be the new ones because... They're rares and stuff, so like, we're not gonna see them that often. It's one energy, it's an Aquas card, plus 200 Bakugan for each Aquas Bakugan on your team. So it's only really useful if you're running pure Aquas, which kind of limits your deck building, but it doesn't matter when you have an amazing rare Hyper Hydra's Ultra, 
for three energy. Nonchalantly, just amazing rare. <laughs> 700 base power with five damage. Uh, whenever it wins a battle, you can play an Aukus card with cost of four or less for free. Yo, bro, I'm just gonna build a deck of all awesome rares. Like, forget <laughs> it. And then we have a common impact Ooh, that's laser. A new card. Yes. Yeah, actually, Being a common, we got it as a now. hex before getting it as a common. That's interesting. Well, we did it too. First pack, uh, Luminous Shield or whatever it was called. It was yeah, but that was, that was the first yeah, one. Yeah, it makes though. sense. Yeah, but So still. I'm saying we're like, what, huh. 18 packs in and this is Maybe the first time we've seen this card? Maybe there's some cards that only come hex, imagine. There's no way. It's a common. It says it. Hmm. Anyways, so it's a three energy card and it's plus seven damage. Pretty basic common. Pretty good pulls. What's that? Five BEs and like four, four BEs, like five or six awesome rares. It's like five, uh, and then like four or five super rares also. Well, with well, there's twenty four we'll packs. This, yeah, twenty four packs. So there's definitely gonna be strength of Maxitar. That's new. Uh, it's a four energy Ventus card plus eight damage. Toxify is another new card. It's a zero energy Ventus card minus three damage. Turn to energy, I think, is another new card. Uh, two energy, energize this card on charge. So it's kind of like a setup card for your next turn. Ventus Moonbeam is a new card. Wow, this is all, all Ventus. Hmm, all right. maybe Ventus of Ventus her? Moonbeam is three energy Ventus card, minus four damage, turbo if you have a, the most energy, then minus eight instead. Okay, so that's the end of the Ventus. Halt Darkus, simple. Counter Aquas. Simple. Ooh. We have a Diamond Nihilus, rare. It's 7 energy, base 1500B, and 8 damage. And then we have a new card, a sure. Ventus card. It's a 2 energy, Ventus, minus 3 damage for each Ventus Bakugan on your team. So same thing, that's more for a pure build. We have an SR Marco. It's a Pyrus, 3 energy, Fury, if you have no cards in hand, uh, 5 damage to all of your attacks. So if you use that on team attack, that's 15 damage for free. And then we have a common Liquid Strike. Do I we ever... don't think we've seen Bro, this card what is either. this? It's a 2 energy Aquas card, and it gives you 3 of the mystery symbol. It's such a useless card because we don't know what that symbol is. Yeah. Well. Yo, I bet you it's going to be such a busted thing. Well, I hope so. Same thing with that weird S, which probably means sacrifice. Or could be. I think that card gives sacrifice, but I don't know. Talon Slash. Hey, that's the card. Or no, it's that's the Bakugan. Not, sorry. It's a Pegatrix, isn't it? No, it's not. I don't know what it is. It well, we definitely got that one before. The Griffin or something? No, that's old school Bakugan. Never mind. Let me Griffin. Griffin. <laughs> Anyways, we've, we have seen this card before. Crushing Grasp, I think, is new. E, no, we have seen it. Yeah, you're right. Six energy, lose a thousand B. Surge of Light is new? No, I think so. Two yeah. energy chaos, gain four damage. Thunder Sword we've seen. Yeah. White out we've seen. Yeah. Lava boost? I is new. think so. Six yeah. energy pyrus card plus nine hundred. Still seeing new commons, interesting. There we uh, go. we have a rare hyper mantanoid ultra two energy aquas. Uh, base eight hundred Evo with four damage. And then we have a Titan Max or Ultra rare card with a. Uh, Four energy to Ventus, base 800, Evo with eight damage. So for twice the energy, you get twice the damage compared to the Hyper Man's mm -hmm. Ultra. Hey. We have another super rare Skies Hemp. A repeat super rare, interesting. Still a good card. Oh, 10 out of 10. Look at top three, put them back so in any good. order, and then draw a card. So good. So you basically, if you're familiar with Hearthstone, it's tracking, it's literally tracking. Look at top three, draw one. If you have the most pocket of course, but I mean, Ooh. chances are, it's probably not. A common hex fireball. It's a pirate's card mean, for one energy. We definitely so far, right? I don't think so. Probably. Plus three damage. <laughs> common hex my ass. <laughs> so that's what, three SRs in a row? I think so. There's one, two, no. An amazing rare. Mm. Oops. Last four packs, let's do it. Home stretch. Counter Chaos, pretty self-explanatory. Shade Blade, we've already seen. 
Strength and Max Guitar, we've already seen. Shadow Hue, we've already seen. Toxify, we've already seen. Smoke Armor, we've already seen. More Potatoes. Oh, we have we a you. Rare Hyper Nihilus. It's a Relis, 3 energy. Base 800, Evo 8 damage. If you discard this card, you may play it for free. Huh. Yo, Aurelius, though? A Haikyuu, though? Like, super rare faction, I guess. We have the exact same card. Chaos. Huh. For, in a super rare. And it's less energy. And it's 2 energy. 500 B. Evo 6 damage. But when it lands on some sort of special shield, it gets 200 B. And if it lands on a fire fist, it gets 2 damage. Hmm, I haven't seen that shield yet. And then we have a rare Diamond Gorthian Ultra. 6 energy. Base 1300 Evo with 6 damage. And that's the Helix? Or the Hex? Yep. Mm. Oh, look it looks great. so good with the diamond. Ooh. It's alright. I'm not a huge fan, but that's just me. All Hexes are beautiful. So that's, that's three supers in a row. Halt Chaos. Isolation, we've already seen. Halt Outsiders, we've already seen. R.I.P. Trucks. Icicle, I think, is new. 3 energy, Aquas, plus 6 damage. At this point, honestly, I don't even know. Halt on, no. Chaos Ascendancy, what are you saying? Hyper, Hyper Fangs are... I don't think so. We probably call a different version. Uh, it's 4 energy, Darkest, and sacrifice. it has what we're assuming is Sacrifice. Sacrifice. And then it's a 900B with 5 damage. Sewing Seeds. A rare flip card. So it's a Ventus card, 3 energy, Turbo. Uh, if you have more energy cards, draw 2 cards. Sounds good to me. And then another Yo, SR Sky Sun. GG's. GG's. We already know what this card does. Tracking. Pretty simple. Pretty good. Yo. And then we have an SR Hex, Everett Ray. We've already seen this guy. So um, we have him in two, double rarity now. Yep. Oh my god. So if you've played three cards this turn, he's free. You get 200B permanently. Pretty good. Bro, we got a place out of that. Oh my god. I uh, love, love these splinters. Shout out to uh, Michael from Target. <laughs> uh, we've already seen this card. Inspire. Inspire. One energy, Aquas, plus one damage, draw card. I haven't seen this card. This is the darkest one energy, lose three damage. Liquid Strike, we've What's seen. What's all the tentacles? <laughs> Interesting. Beaming Blast, we've already seen. Think again, we have not. This is a two energy Aquas card, draw card. If Oh, we have. Flow, oh, draw two. Oh, yeah, yes. we did. This one is new. So, yeah. Uh, it's That's one energy, it's a Pyrus card. Uh, you get plus one energy for each Baku card core that your Baku got hold. Okay, so potentially, once you once you enter the battle phase of your third Baku gone, then this is technically a plus two energy card. Interesting. Bakugan is plural, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, also, now that I think of it, you could technically play this on your first Bakugan roll just to get a card counter. So if you have a card that requires that you play a certain amount of cards to use, then you can use this as a cycle card to just play for free. Yeah. Because it cycles itself whenever you enter the battle phase with your first Bakugan. Yeah, I feel like depending on the deck and what's in your hand, there's so many different, like, combos and play styles. Like, I feel like this game is... Theory crafting is going to be fun. Very much so. We've already seen this card. We have Ooh. a super rare Stomping Quake. This is a 7 energy Ventus card, and it's plus 10 damage. Uh, if you have more energy cards, then draw 3 cards as well. Sounds pretty good. And then we have a rare Diamond Nihilus. It's 7 energy, base 1500 B, and 8 damage. So that is actually 5 super rares in a row. 5, alright. Here we go. Is that yeah. not including? Yeah. Good luck. Oh, we got two, 2 super rares in 1 pack, so 6 super rares. 2 super rares in 1 pack? Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh nice. yeah! Alright, here we go. Alright, Ice Barrier we've already seen. Isolation we've already seen. 
Razor wings? Is it new? No, that, yeah, that's what we know. A young it's Chaos a One energy, Chaos, put it back in your hand. Yo, Chaos Dragon Art looks pretty good. So then for this, it's the same thing as I said with this other card where you just kind of like play it just for play counters. If you have the energy to spare, then you can just play this card. Oh, it's a flip. Never mind. So then what's the... Oh, it's energy fodder. Okay. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Sea Serenity, that's a new card. It is Darkest Cease One Energy, Serenity. Stop, Chaos, or Ventus. We had a Seas card before, but not that one. We've had a couple, but I think that's the first Darkest Seas we've Icicle. had. Icicle, we've already had. Yep. Blinding Glam? Yeah, that's, uh, that's from the starter deck, and I think we also yes. just ran into it before, too. Yes. We Ooh. have a rare Hyper Mantonoid Ultra. It's is an that Aquas. A Two energy. I think we had a Hyper Mantonoid Ultra, but it was an Aquas. Mm. Oh, no, it was. was it, it was. It was okay. the 800 with the four damage, and I compared it to the Minotaur. Minotaurus. Minotaurus, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Hyper Fangzor. I think we don't have this one, Ventus. Mm, yeah, we don't have Ventus. So, either. it's two energy, 400B, six damage, and when it opens, the battling Bakugan gets minus three damage. Mm. We have another super rare Marco. Uh, so as a reminder, it's a three energy Pyrus card. Fury, if you have no cards in hand, then plus five damage to all attacks. God. So again, and then uh, hot potato. More potatoes. Hex hot. Yo, that's that's high key the meme card. All right. So if you guys give us a second, we will come up with a recap on twenty four packs that we got. So we've organized the entirety of the pulls. Um, we organize them by faction. And then we have each of the factions set to actions, flips, evos, and heroes. So starting at the top, we have a relis where we only got evos. We got four evos, no, four relis, Bakugan. Then we have Pyrus. Pyrus is almost even on actions and flips. They have a number of evos, and if you want to know, um, one out of every 40 cards that you pull will be a hot potato. And there is a chance to get a hot potato hex. Ah. So, uh, enjoy your potatoes. Um, so here we have Ventus. Ventus is also almost even actions and flips. With the same, maybe three to four evos and three to four heroes. An interesting thing with Ventus is it has more flip than action compared to every other faction. Because, of course, it has to energize, but I feel like that's a very interesting feature that that faction has over the others in the ratios so hydras out of all the ones we have along with darkest seems to have the least amount of flips but in turn the most amount of actions um hydras also by far has the most amount of evos uh, but we only have one aquas hero hey uh same thing it's relatively uh half-ish um the flips are like almost half of what the actions are. A lot of actions, very action heavy. Um, very few evos, we got two. A decent amount of heroes. Two. Just two? Oh, okay. Two, never mind. Trash. Um, relatively, that's what every faction is getting, either one or two, so it's, it's so-and-so. But it seems to be very, very, I wouldn't say action heavy, because Aqua is 100% action heavy, but it is uh, up there with the actions next to uh, Aquas in comparison. Darkest kind of falls the same, same boat with having just as much action as Chaos and Aquas, but having much fewer actions than Chaos in comparison. Oh, you mean flips? Flips, yeah. Four flips in total. I mean, of course, there are more in this pile, which we separated by rarity, but um, not much. So in this pile, it's inside our super rare pile, but we also, along with the um, Battle Elite Dan Kuzo hero for Pyrus, since we didn't get any Pyrus in the regular packs, there's also two um, Marco super rares, which makes a total of three heroes for Pyrus. We can also see one Darkest hero right there. And um, for Aquas, we have... An Everett Ray Super Rare Hex. And then a regular Everett Ray. And then for Chaos, we do have the um, Leah Battle Elite Hex Hero for Chaos. And then Aquas also had E or B 
or Ed, whatever his name was. Pretty sure that was Aquas guy. Mm-hmm. I don't remember what it was. It's a girl. But so the ratios are the rarities though, as you can see. The common hexes, well, he- hexes are always uh, uh, secured, but the commons definitely actually. I think there's just about as many commons as there are rares. There is, hmm. Which kind of makes sense. Usually in a lot of card games, rares are, might as well call them commons. Common part two. Common part two. So you got that. Then you we pulled three super rare hexes. No awesome rare hexes. Those are really juicy, apparently. And then one battle elite hex. Beautiful, beautiful card. We also pulled three regular battle elites, two heroes, one Evo. We also pulled four, all Evo, wow. Four awesome rare cards. One for each faction, except for, of course, Aurelis. <laughs> Aurelis. And, well, um, what else? Uh, Darkest. Darkest. And then for our super rares, we pulled a total whopping 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 super rares. Now that's very interesting, especially when super rares are so game changing. So there is like a fluctuation of hero ratios in the super rares. It seems like most of the heroes that are in this set do come as super rares, so obviously you won't be getting as many of them. Mm -hmm. The regular commons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the 17. Hmm. Well, so half of the regular Super Rares are heroes. Well, there you have it. That was Bakuan Battle Planet Battle Brawlers Blister Packs. They... <sighs> Gave us some interesting stuff. They pulled our heartstrings with some of the pulls, but we walked away with a Battle Elite Hex. That is the pride and joy. And then of course, our hot potatoes, but we don't talk about those. But yeah, and uh, next time we're gonna be playtesting with these amazing cards. So uh, we'll uh, see you then.